So one of the things you might want to do with the document is add in a watermark. I'm using Windows here. I have another video that shows you how to do this on a Mac because it's done a bit different. This is Word 2010 but works the same on newer versions of Word as well. So what I want is to put a watermark which could be some text that could say something like draft or confidential or something like that. I could also put in an image in the background and I could make that washed out so that when I print it I know it's me. It could be a logo, something like that. So let's just have a look at how you do it. Well here what you need to do is go to your page layout tab across the top and you'll see here where it's got page background you can actually choose the watermark and when I do click on that you get standard options such as confidential, splashed across like that diagonally, do not copy again diagonal, just straight normal, you've got draft sample and so on. Let's just choose one, let's go for confidential, that sounds really important. And then what you see immediately is in the background you've got that confidential and it will appear on every page. You'll see I've got portrait and landscape here in the same document and I've got a video for that. But just to show you that it is appearing across all of them. And that prints out and if it was something like a draft, when you're ready you can just go and get rid of it by going back into watermark and choosing remove watermark. And it's gone. So when you're ready for it to go. So it could be quite useful to have draft there. So you've got others, other options. Let's just pop that draft in and you can see it's put that in. What if you wanted to change it to another? Well you don't have to remove it first. Whoops, let's just go back to page layout. I go to watermark and I can just simply change it. Now what if I wanted to have something like a picture in the background and I've got some pictures loaded here. I can go into watermark. I can go into custom watermark. Now this isn't just for putting in a picture. As you'll see it comes up with a dialog box. You can also put in text and this is the text it's got. So it's got the language of UK. You can choose different languages. So that's English UK. There are samples here, just exactly the same ones. In fact there might even be more like top secret. So what you can do is actually type in something that you want such as jargon free help. I can change the font style here as well if I like. i change it to that. You can change the size, it's set to auto. You can change the color and it makes it semi-transparent because you don't want it to dominate so that it's taking over the text. If I untick it we'll see what happens when I click on apply. If I make it semi-transparent and hit apply you'll see it's just a bit lighter and not so in the way of the actual text you've got. You can click horizontal and if I hit apply you can see it has put it there and I like to have it diagonal for something like this. Hit apply. Let's just click on close and you can see it's put it in. It's put it in with the text format that I wanted. What if I wanted a picture instead? I can go into watermark. I can choose custom watermark and at the top here, well one I can choose no watermark. I can choose picture watermark. I can choose a picture. I'm going to select a picture. I'm going to in my pictures folder here. Let's just see what happens if I choose the jargon free one. Let's just choose that. And if I hit apply you can see it's put it in. It's on auto so it's automatically trying to make it um, fit nicely there which is actually probably bigger than it needs to be. You see it's got wash out here as well. That's kind of like the semi-transparent kind of effect and stopping it from dominating the text because if I hit apply you'll see it's much um, darker there. With the auto you can see that you can just choose different sizes. Um, you could actually type in one yourself so I could do a thousand and hit apply. That's just way too big so you can go through and choose what you like. I normally find that auto does a pretty good job and I tend to have it ticked as washed out. So there you are. That's how you can put one in all the way through. So if I wanted to get rid of it again I could just go remove watermark. Now the other option I have here is watermarks from office.com. It's saying no content available so I am connected so maybe they're not there anymore. Try it on yours. See if there's anything from office.com and you may be able to choose some of your own. But this is how you can put in watermarks that are text, preset ones, text that you want to type in yourself and also how you can put in a picture too.